everyone, I'm Alana from Twinkle and these are our resources which have been designed to support your child when learning about the topic, the Great Fire of London. Children will most likely do this topic in Key Stage 1 as part of the National Curriculum Requirement for History that children at this stage learn about significant events beyond living memory. History at this stage introduces children to the idea of changes over time and events in the past, as well as the similarities and differences between the ways of life in different periods. Here are some of the ways that children might start to learn about the Great Fire of London, along with the resources that we've put together to support their learning and engage their interest. Understanding the events that took place in 1666, as well as the order that they happened in, is a really important part of this topic. Because the Great Fire of London started on a Sunday and carried on over a few days, it's also a great chance to tie into children's learning about the days of the week. These sequencing cards are a great way to put events in order and this timeline activity is a lovely visual tool to show events in chronological order. Children will also learn a lot of facts about the Great Fire of London, how it started, how it was eventually brought under control and what effect it had on London. We have lots of pages on our homework help section with lots of information around this topic. These fact cards are a great way to revise children's understanding and knowledge about this topic. And we also have these fact files and reading comprehension activities if children would like to extend their knowledge even further. You may also find that this topic links with the work that children do in English or literacy. Using the facts that they've learned, as well as the timeline of the fire, is a great starting point for writing a newspaper article. We've put together a template that children could use, which includes space for a picture. Writing out the events in chronological order is a great way to practice writing, and especially writing in a different format, rather than a story. Finally, we've put together a storybook from the point of view of a witness to the fire, Sammy the dog. Children will hopefully recognise a lot of elements of the fire in this story, and it's a great way to engage their interest further. The Great Fire of London is a really interesting topic for children to study in Key Stage 1 and there's a lot more information about this topic on the Twinkle website. I hope you found this useful and have fun!